Today, I want to talk about staring. It's really bad when adults stare, because then they're just being, excuse me, stupid and just not using their brain. Does Grace have a big personality? Yes, and we are not sure. She did not get it from either one of us. No. Today, I'm going to be talking about staring. Specifically, staring at people who are a little bit different. Maybe they have a wheelchair or they walk with a limp. Should you stare? Should you not stare? Is it rude? I want to get to the bottom of this. I think it's rude to stare at people with a disability because you should just treat them like they're anybody else. It would be rude to stare at anybody even if they were normal, so you shouldn't treat people with a disability differently. Grace has a genetic disorder called multiple pterygium, or also known as Escobar syndrome. Um, we found out first trimester really early that something was not quite right. Her arms and legs weren't moving, her jaw was little. Yeah, and even when she was born, we didn't really know what the prognosis was. As soon as she came out though, they spanked her and she cried and... Um... <laughs> Did they? I don't do that to did babies. They? I don't, do that <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but they did whisk her away really fast. Yes. She was, mm -hmm. she was fine. She was fine. And so they told us that she's going to have some problems, but we'll be ready for it. And, and so that's what we did. And so she was born in New York City. Even though we live in Texas, she took a little bit of New York with her because she sometimes gets that New York attitude too. She is her own person. She has her own style. She is her own outgoing self. By and large, she's just a regular girl. She's uh, funny, she's got a great personality, she's kind of a pain in the ass at home sometimes. Um, pain in the rear. Pain, pain in the, the rear. rear. It is really cool to be Grace's parents. people people stare at me and it makes me ticked off I guess when I was younger it would make me sad but now that I'm older it just makes me more annoyed some of the things that people have done to me have like whispered to other people usually I'm able to say something back but sometimes I just blank and completely forget what I'm gonna say I've never really had any people just like laugh or anything which is good um, or people say, why do you walk like that? Or why do you look like that? And then I would say, well, why do you look like that? And that usually gets them to shut up. But sometimes they just walk away, which is also good. But it's really bad when adults stare, because then they're just being, excuse me, stupid or dumb and just not using their brain. And that's when my parents get involved. It, it does bother me with the staring, um, but I think most of the time I just kind of like, put my head in the way and say, hi, how are you? And, and like, and they kind of wake up and get out of it a little bit. And, and that, that helps. And then they're like, oh, hi, are you Now curious? if they are her age or older or if adults, then we will like be like, <laughs> do you have something to say? Yeah. Because you're staring at us, you know, we call them out because if, yeah. if you're old, you shouldn't be staring. Yes, there are, there's a point at which we should probably be more forgiving, but we have a tendency to sometimes call out uh, adults because adults are the ones that really yeah. bother me is when adults just kind of stare and you really want to say something and I don't always do a good job of holding my tongue. But what we are training our little girl to do, our daughter <laughs> Iris, is we're training her that if she ever sees people staring to go stand and be like, what are you looking at? And she's doing really good. <laughs> yeah. So I understand why people can stare sometimes, but that doesn't necessarily mean I agree with that. So I'm going to give you some examples of what you can say or do instead of stare. Let's say you have a question about my shoe. You can go up to me and just ask. Obviously, introduce yourself first and not just blurt out your question. But if you genuinely just have a question, you can ask. Or if you feel nervous about asking that person a question, like if you had a question about my shoe, like I said, you can say, hey, I really like your shoe. And maybe they'll expand on it. If they don't, then that's okay. Maybe they just don't feel comfortable giving out that information. I like it when people come up and ask questions. I think it's yeah, educational for both Grace, for us, and also for them. Because they're not being rude, they're being curious, and I think it's good for conversation. I wish more people would do it, 
you yeah. know, we try to Agreed. we try to do that, set that example for Grace when we're out and we see kids or adults or something to go up and just strike a conversation. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I like it when people say, excuse me, you know. I, I get amused sometimes because some adults really want to just ask, but they're kind of afraid to just even bring it up. And do, do, do you mind me asking what, what kind of what is what's going on with grace you know and they're they're so afraid to say something that like might come out the wrong way and i'm like dude just spit it out just like say it because we want to talk about it we want to educate and we want to teach people that hey it is better to ask specific questions than general questions a general question that people ask sometimes is why do you look like that? That's not necessarily the best thing to ask. A more specific and better thing you could ask would be, hey, I noticed you walked a little differently than I do. Make it personal. Could you tell me why you walked the way that you do? Sometimes it can be a little awkward when people say, what disease do you have? Because they kind of just blurt it out without maybe sliding into it, but that's okay. One example of a time where it made me pretty frustrated was there was a time that me and my mom were at the pool. We were having a really good time, and there was a lady there. And she comes up to my mom. She said, hey, my son runs a disabled kid's camp. I think your daughter might like it. And that really made me mad. The reason why it made me upset was because she didn't tell me, one, Yes, even though I'm disabled, I'm very bright and very smart, and I can talk for myself. And two, she didn't come up to us and just make conversation. She just started talking about her own son's camp. Boy, that made me mad. And then actually, um, probably about a month or two ago, we saw that lady again. She started talking about it again with my mom. So I said to her face, I said, I thought it was nice of you to tell us about your son's camp, but it wasn't very thoughtful of you because I was right there as well. And she said, oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Thank you for telling me. I understand that some people don't always know what to say or can be nervous, but remember, it's really important to think before you speak. I'm not saying to ignore people with disabilities because that's another thing that can make me upset or other people. One example that is a little bit annoying is when kids will look but be friendly about it and just, and about to ask something, parents will say, no, 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 don't be rude. Or they think that they're being rude, but they're really not. If you see a person who is disabled and you want to ask a question, just go ahead and ask. I want to just stress that this is my opinion. If you feel differently, that is okay, but you don't need to be rude about it, okay? Okay. Everybody who has a disability has different thoughts and opinions on it. It really just depends on the person. Some people may not want you to ask about their disability. It could be a really sensitive subject for them. Others, like me, I don't really care if you ask. Some of you guys watching or one of your loved ones may have a disability as well. So let me know what your thoughts are. So that's my opinion on staring. Remember, it's always better to ask a question than to stare. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you're following on my Instagram, Nova. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!